po muna ako. Uh, before, hedging can only read three letter words. Like for example, bag, boy, um, toy, joy, sun, wind. Ganun lang po yung mga kaya niyang basahin. And uh, I also ask, ask her and let her know how to read the uh, following auxiliary verbs. So, kindly refer na lang po dun sa iba pa naming mga next video, yung mga about po sa auxiliary verbs. Pero, dito po muna tayo mag-focus paano tayo magturo ng mga kids natin ages 4 years old or as early as 3 years old po, how to teach them to read a book. So, basic po muna tayo. And, um, I will try to make it very short or quick, like 1 to 3 days po yung gagawin kong practice sa kanya until makita ko kung may progress ba sa reading niya. So, please, mommies, do watch this video. This is very important for our kids how to learn basic reading. Thank you! Ayan, so, ito po yung aming book. And always ready your um, pencil or pen and paper or notebook for note-taking po ng mga words na hindi pa alam ni L or yung little one natin basahin. Sige, mommy, try na, na natin for the very first time. This is day one. Ayan, so, ma mommies, meron po ako rito ang three books for Hedgian. Yung binigay kong book sa kanya is, it has basic, uh, very basic words like this. Open natin, ha? Ayan. So, on the very first page, makikita niya, super basic lang siya. Like, where are babies feet that are good enough to eat? So, si Hedgian po, hindi pa talaga siya totally nakakapag-read ng book ever since talaga. Um, very basic po yung kaya niya i-read. Like, kung sinabi ko kanina, three-letter word lang po yung kaya niyang basahin. So, this time, itatry po natin kung effective ba yung ganitong klase ng technique sa mga kids natin. So, uh, may options po siya, tatlong books. And, let me ask her po kung ano yung gusto niya rito basahin. Hedgian, can you please tell mommy which book do you want to read? So, this one, may napili na po siya. Ayan. So, ito yung book na kanya babasahin or aming babasahin. Okay. So, yung very first thing po na dapat natin ipabasa is yung cover ng book. Yung title po mismo. Okay. Okay. So, this time, ito po yung tiyatawag nating repeat after me. Si mommy muna yung magbabasa bago po si baby. Okay. Can you please hold this one? Okay. So, let's start. Hedgin, look here. Where? Where? Mommy. Is? Babies? Babies? Valentine. Valentine. Okay. So, let's have the very first page. Baby. You say baby. Baby. Is? Looking, looking for, for her, her special, special Valentine. Valentine. Okay, this one is Valentine. We have this a while ago. And then here we have the subject baby. You say baby. Baby. Uh, this one uh, is, is it, it behind? Behind. This one, you know all this one already, diba? Right? What's yeah. this? The chair. 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 So, si C, ito si C at saka H, their sound is ch, 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 chair. Again, you repeat, chair. Chair. So, here, uh, after reading po nito, mommy, meron tayong pictures as your little ones can see. So, behind the chair, you, you have to teach them the preposition. But before you teach them how to read, they should know the phonics. So, para makapag-read yung mga kids natin at home. Let's open this one. Wow! How about this one, Hedgen? You know how to read this, right? What's this? No. No. This one. Those. Those. How about this? What's this? Are. Are. Because this one is also a... An, uh, an auxiliary verb. How about this one? Colorful balloons. Balloons. So we have here the colorful balloons. You show your little ones the picture of the colorful balloons. So wag na po tayong mag uh, mag explain ng sobra sobra sa pictures. Kasi ang focus natin is reading. Next page. So makikita po ng kids natin yung mismo full picture ng ating book. Okay, let's proceed. This one is yes, yes, yes. on on 
under. So, familiar na po dito si Hedging kasi meron na kaming preposition of place last time. How about this one, anak? What's this? The? The blanket. The blanket. So, this one is referring to the blanket. So, is it under the blanket? Yes. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Alright. So, again, can you read this? No. No. It's a cuddly, cuddly teddy bear. Teddy bear. So, like what I've said a while ago, mommies, yung mga um, words like cuddly, yung mga feeling nyo hindi pa kayang basahin ng mga kids natin. Yun yung mga take note ninyo sa ating notebook or paper. And here, we will do the same thing. Ipapabasa ko ito kay Hedgin until we finish or we reach the back or the end of the story, which is this one. So, no, no, no. Ah, yeah. This one is the last page. What's this? It. Ah, uh, is. It. What's this? In. So, ito po, mami, is yung is it in. Alam na pong basahin ni Hejin yan kasi meron na kami nito before. So, yung babies, yung ating subject, uh, paulit-ulit na makikita yan ng mga kids nyo. So, ma maaalala talaga nila yan. So, babies, how about this one, Hejin? You say your room. Room. So, may question mark. Saka na tayo mag-focus yung mga intonation ng voice nila. Pagpa-question mark, kapag exclamation point. Kasi ang ating focus lang talaga is, again, so here, mommies, ito po yung natapos namin. So it only took uh, 10 minutes for us to finish the whole book. And it's very basic lang din naman. And I just put here the title of the book, Where is Baby's Valentine? And then yung date today. And kung yung first day namin, so I put there. Day 1, and yung set ng words na kinakailangan ni Hedgin basahin. Or dapat mag-focus kami, like Valentine, special, chair, balloons. Para the next day po, na aarali namin yung book or yung pag read namin, is familiar na siya dito sa mga words na to. Pero, um, don't worry, mommies, it, it will not took a uh, very long time or an hour for you to finish a book. So, as much as possible, dapat super dali nyo lang dapat ituro sa mga kids ninyo. Ang kinakailangan lang po is yung repetition of words. So, tomorrow, we will try to read another um, th th this set of words again. And, ito check ko if ma mas okay ba yung pag-read na ni Hedgin kesa the first day na binasa niya itong mga words na to. So, ayan, mommies. Finish na po kami sa day one namin. And, remember, hindi po kailangan ng sobrang tagal sa pagbabasa ng libro. Ang importante lang is, again, repetition of words para maging familiarize yung mga bata. So, in this video po, makikita ninyo kung talaga bang nag improve yung bata until day three. Okay? So, th that's it for today. Bye! Say bye, Haji! Bye! Hello! This is day two! Okay, so welcome back, guys. This is our third day of recording our video. Let's see and let's find out if our little girl here, Hejin, can read our book here. And if she can fully read all the words from our book. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Okay, come on. Where, Where is, is baby's baby is Valentine? Wow, very good. Come on, Ooh. let's read it more. Baby is, is looking, looking for, for her, her special, special Valentine. Valentine. Is, is behind the chair. Very good. Come on, let's check it out. And let's see. What's this? No, no, are colorful balloons. Wow, very well said. Next page. Is it under? Very good. The blanket. Let us see if it's under the blanket. Oh, no. 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 It's a cuddly teddy bear. Aw, it's a cuddly teddy bear. Aww. Next page. <gasps> Is it behind the lamp? Wow, we are 
really fast now. S, F, L, D, cupboard. Wow. Let's open it up. And what's this? No. What? There. There are. What's this? Delicious. Delicious. Thing. Last, lastly, S, F, L, Baby's Room. Okay, very good. And the last page is, can you please read it? Yes. Yes. Here is Baby's Special Valentine. And she, she, she made it. it just for Mommy. So you got it all right. Say bye. bye. Just search for Learn with Heading Kim on YouTube.